Tower Defense Simulator gets regular updates, making the game more fun. Like updating old game modes like Easy Mode or releasing challenge quests. But most recently, TDS has come out with a Fallen rework, giving us new bosses and zombies. But I'm not here to talk about that part of the update. I'm here to talk about the Hidden Wave. What's the Hidden Wave, you may ask? It originally was a challenge where if you beat the Fallen King in 1009 seconds or less, it would trigger a 41st wave. This wave would spawn a boss with 600,000 health, and it was very hard. But sadly, it has since been removed. Until now. But before we knew how to do the new hidden wave, the game left us hints to figure out how to trigger it. Eventually, the community found out if you type 120, 1, and 1009, and get your HP down to 1 and beat the Fallen King in 45 seconds or less, without consumables, it would trigger it and I wanted to beat it. Even though it is very hard, I would give it my all. So that's exactly what I did. And I didn't disappoint, because I started it out with a bang. We died nine waves in. But game two is where we picked up the pace, because we got our health to one HP. We passed each wave, killing the fallen squire and the fallen necromancer. By now our defense was very good. All of us had good farming and good DPS. Everything was dying so quick. But would it be quick enough to kill the Fallen King in 45 seconds? No. Not even close. Even though we had so many max engineers and a max mercenary base, we were 18 seconds off. Even though it looks like we killed the Fallen King pretty quick, we would have to kill him about here on the track to trigger the hidden wave, which is just crazy. But all I could do is keep going. So in the next game, we got the same setup, beating wave by wave and I was even able to max my farms by wave 22. But now for wave 40. Still not quick enough. The next two games did not do well either. The next game we died trying to get to 1 HP, and the game after that we did not kill the Fallen King quick enough. But this is where it all picked up. We got to 1 HP, got max farms, and beat all the main bosses. And then, it was time to take down the Fallen King. The Fallen King edged along the path, and we kept chipping down his health. And we killed him in the best time yet. But I was still off by 9 seconds. Such a small amount of time, but to kill the Fallen King in less than 45 seconds, it would be very, very hard. But somehow, this happened. I triggered it. Now just to beat one of the hardest waves ever. You lost, was the picture shoved into my face. After all those hours, this? I couldn't stop no matter how long it would take. I needed to beat this wave. 
so. I dumped hours after hours after hours just trying to get to 1 HP or to kill the fallen boss fast enough. But then I found out that you can place flags at the end of wave 39 and then they will carry over to wave 40, giving the towers a buff. This is it. If I could just get to wave 40, I could win this. Now to just kill the Awakened Fallen King. I did it! I was so happy! I was one of the first 5,000 people to beat Hidden Wave. But anyways, thank you for watching, and help me get this video to 500 likes. Comment down below if I should make a short of my reaction beating Hidden Wave. But anyways, good bye.